and welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. In this video, we're going to cover the High Point Carbine. The High Point Carbine was originally released in 1996 during the Clinton era federal assault weapons ban. The founder of High Point Firearms, Tom Deeb, originally designed the gun in 1994, with it being released in 1996 in 9mm, designated the Model 995. The Model 995 is a simple blowback operated semi automatic carbine that uses injection molded polymers for its two part clamshell style stock combined with sheet metal top covers that conceal the bolt assembly and the portion of the barrel over the stock. The barrel cover portion is slotted for cooling. The design looked a little odd, reminding many people of the rifles used in the Planet of the Apes movies. Inside the stock, a cast Zamic receiver frame is used to attach the barrel, house the fire control system, and locate the magazine. The bolt is also made of Zamic with hardened steel inserts for the chamber face and a steel threaded insert is also cast into the bolt for the external bolt handle to attach. The bolt handle could also be used to manually lock the bolt back. It features adjustable rear sights made of plastic protected by a stamped sheet metal carrier assembly and the front sight, which is attached via set screws, could be canted right or left as well as raised or lowered to adjust for initial zero. The rear sight could be removed and re replaced with an optional stamped steel rail assembly for mounting of optics if desired. Proprietary single stack magazines with a capacity of 10 rounds to comply with the assault weapons law were used. Initially offered as the model 995 and 9mm, it came with a 16.5 inch barrel. The model 4095, a 40 Smith & Wesson version with a 17.5 inch barrel followed in 2003. Stock color options included the basic black as well as camo pattern and metal finishes of black parkerized or optional chrome plating were soon available. Since then several more caliber options have been released including 10mm as the model 1095, 45 ACP as you may have guessed by now the model 4595 and the model 3895 and 380 ACP. It seems they wanted to keep it with two digits for the caliber designation. The initial design utilized a combination of pins, bolts, and clips for assembly, making it necessary to use tools in the process. They offered a small multi-tool to assist with this. In 2009, a tactical stock design was offered, which not only brought a fresh look, but also ushered in the addition of several functional enhancements. First, a last round bolt hole open was incorporated into the gun, something the classic design lacked. Next, the assembly bolts were replaced with pins held in place with integrated locks, greatly simplifying disassembly. These enhancements were phased in as new parts were incorporated into the manufacturing chain, so some of the early tactical stocks did not have all of the enhancements. The classic line was gradually phased out and was removed from the company's website in 2010, with sales continuing until around 2013 as inventory depleted itself. The new tactical stock design was a skeletonized style which included molded in weaver rails on the top of the receiver and bottom of the front handguard. It also featured a rail under the barrel just forward of the handguard. A sprung recoil mitigating system was incorporated into the rear of the buttstock. Given that these are pistol caliber carbines, I'm not really sure of the need for it, however it may assist those that are sensitive to recoil. Color options have grown to include a variety of camo patterns and colors. Optional barrel lengths up to 19 inches are also now available, as are threaded barrels. Other options have been offered ranging from flash hiders, foregrips, lasers, lights, and optics. With its simple design, cost-effective manufacturing techniques, and budget materials, it's able to be offered at a very good price point, originally coming in under $200 in 1996, which is less than half the cost of any of the limited competition that was offered at the time. While the pistol caliber carbine market segment has grown substantially since then, it still represents a low cost option with suggested retail prices starting at $315, with street prices being even lower. Of course, caliber and options may increase that price, it's still clearly the least expensive pistol caliber carbine available. They may not be the prettiest option out there, however they do what they're supposed to do. While many purists scoff at these little rifles due to their low cost and budget materials, the reality is the system works. Most everyone who acquires one gets won over by how well they actually work. What's even better, High Point offers a lifetime no questions asked warranty and their customer service has always been accepted as being top notch. I hope that this information is of value and if you liked the video I would ask that you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see more like this. I value your comments and feedback and as always until next week stay safe.